In the treatment of refractory cardiac arrest, the addition of extracorporeal membrane oxygenation to standard advanced cardiac life support, known as extracorporeal CPR, restores perfusion and oxygenation in the absence of spontaneous circulation. The goal of extracorporeal CPR is to limit hypoxic brain injury and facilitate the identification and treatment of the underlying cause of cardiac arrest. New research examines whether extracorporeal CPR increases the chance of survival with a good neurologic outcome in these patients. In this multicenter pragmatic randomized control trial, 160 adults, 70 years of age or less, with a witnessed out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, initial ventricular arrhythmia, and no return of spontaneous circulation within 15 minutes after the initiation of advanced life support, were randomly assigned to receive extracorporeal CPR or conventional CPR. The primary outcome, survival with a favorable neurologic outcome at 30 days, occurred in 20% of the extracorporeal CPR group and in 16% of the conventional CPR group, a non-significant difference. At six months, there was still no apparent difference in outcome with extracorporeal or conventional CPR. In both groups, an average of one serious adverse event occurred per patient. The authors conclude that in patients with refractory out-of-hospital cardiac arrest caused by an initial ventricular arrhythmia, extracorporeal CPR and conventional CPR had similar effects on survival with a favorable neurologic outcome at 30 days. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.